Big Savage in the building, the grind don't stop unless it kill me, you already know. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. And today, we got that season two news, fresh and hot on the streets. And yes, Activision finally crawled out they hole, went to Twitter, threw a tweet up, and they confirmed that season two has been delayed by two weeks and will be coming out. February 15th. I smell something, man. You smell something? I definitely you smell something in my hair. I smell, I, 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 I smell, I smell pussy. Yo, he's a pussy, it. man. Dick is Honestly, I can't even say I'm surprised. I mean, we all seen it coming. Just look at all the things that was fucked up with the game. Warzone 2. Man, the problems, you can't even count them. Modern Warfare 2. The problems was going crazy over there, too. They couldn't even get a grasp on simple multiplayer. Multiplayer is copy and paste, and they couldn't control that. Warzone 2 dropped, and it was so fucked up, they had to get that together. So with all this attention on bug fixes and improvements, because they already playing from behind, it was only right that they delay the season. They did the shit last year. Might as well do it again. Now, we're going to move right past that because, you know, I kind of expected things to get delayed. Not surprised. They did it before. But Call of Duty is getting edgy. Activision. Somebody else must be calling these shots because this, this can't be the last motherfucker. But they went on and confirmed that Resurgence will be coming for Season 2. Was on Ranked Play. It's coming. New multiplayer maps, modes, and weapons, and you already know that battle pass and shit. But it's confirmed that the new rebirth is here. I called it. Ain't I been saying it all this time? All this time. It's coming season two. It's coming season two. Everybody asks me, season two, season two, season two. The most I've said is if it don't come season two, it'll come season 2.5. But according to them, it's coming season two. So I was right the first time. Can we get some, you know, excitement for that? And the crowd goes wild! I've been saying for the longest, when I get my hands on Rebirth, when they give us Rebirth, when they give us a smaller map, I will finally be able to enjoy Warzone 2.0. I think that's the end all be all. They give me that, I'm going to shut the fuck up. For the whole rest of the year, I'll be cool. That's all I ever wanted. But it's other people out there that don't feel like that. For some reason, they feel like even a new Rebirth Resurgence mode won't save Warzone 2.0. They say the drastic changes has killed the game and Warzone is over and done for. And I just want to know, what do y'all feel about that? Do y'all, how do y'all feel in the comment section? Is Rebirth the only thing that we need to fix this game and turn shit around and put it on the other track? Or Rebirth won't be a factor into Warzone 2.0 being good or not? Because when I break it down, these people that saying, oh, Rebirth won't help, it won't change anything. What the fuck has changed, bruh? If we get this new Rebirth resurgence mode, we going to get that same feeling that we had in Warzone 1. The only thing that's really different is the looting. Okay, we got looting. We've, we had Alcatraz before, and we've had that style of looting. So the looting ain't going to change nothing. It ain't going to be nothing that we ain't experienced, and it's going to be the most litest map of Warzone. If you want to get picky, you can go ahead and say that the time to kill is very different. And, you know, the plating system, you know, if using the armor, it's kind of different. But, essentially, those changes are so small and minuscule, you just being a fucking spoiled cod boy or girl brat at this point. If that's your main reason for thinking Rebirth ain't finna save the day. The only thing we should really be curious about is this new Resurgence map. We know for sure... It's not on Rebirth Island. I know I keep throwing around the term the new Rebirth. But essentially, it's just another resurgence game mode. But Rebirth won't be the map. The new map, we don't know the name yet. It's a mystery. And everybody is wondering, will it be good? It's only one simple answer to this question. 
All you gotta do is look to the very last thing we got in that category, and that would be Fortune's Keep. With Fortune's Keep, I believe, in my opinion, that they proved that they can successfully make another resurgence map, and it serves the purpose of being a resurgence map. It pushed, you know, action. Fast-paced combat, in-your-face gunfights, around the corner, you know, surprises. That is what Resurgence is supposed to do, and that's what Fortune's Keep did. Now, I think they're going to take this same approach, put the new Warzone 2 skin on it, and they're going to kill the game, bro. We're going to be going crazy out there. I'm excited. I can't wait. You already know I'm going to be live with it, putting in crazy amount of hours playing with the Savage Nation. So pull up if you want to. But it's still one more question they left us in the dark about. Will we be getting the combat record for Warzone in Season 2? And has our stats been tracking all this time? I wait, why the fuck couldn't they just tell us that in that tweet? That would have been the perfect time to, bro. They playing. At this point, the only thing I can think when speaking on that is either they don't know when or they don't know how. And I don't know how could they not know how after 12 years of doing how. Did they just go blank or, you know, do they? can they not? I don't know, bruh. I don't know. Y'all sitting and fighting the comments to figure that out because, bruh, if this update come out and I have none of my wins that I already got in Warzone, I'm going to be pissed. But if it come out and we at least got the combat record and I know I can start over on my wins, I might feel a little better if I know shit is finally tracking. But either way it go, they need to get this shit together. I can't get jiggy with this shit. One little last piece of information I got for y'all. Now this one itself wasn't 100% confirmed by Activision, but, you know, trusty sources... Have, have they been leaking shit, bro? The shit is everywhere. They got all this information. Don't know what to do with it. But Warzone private matches will be coming back in Season 2, according to these leaks. And I think this going to be pretty lit. You already know how the customs was busting in Warzone 1. So if they give us private matches back and they let us control the right settings, oh, this can be the best thing they ever done. As a content creator, I know me personally, I much rather play customs with, you know, all the gang and all the subs and all their friends. So it's more personal when we going at it. I don't care about playing these randoms of the world. But against people I know, we all talking shit, we hyped up, we having fun, we putting challenges out there. That's what it's supposed to be like. That's real fun and call of duty. But let me know, hit that comment section down below, what's real fun in Call of Duty to you, shit. Are you looking forward to season two? Are you excited or not? That's all I got for y'all. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Turn on notification bells if you haven't. And I'm going to get at y'all on the next one. Peace. I hate my shit. I spent the light 10. Yeah. I got the pipe in. Gonna spend a block, no type in. I just want the face like we Skype in. Can't come no hoe, they be trifling.